okay now let us see the problem on design of chimneys this is a very lengthy problem it is about 16 pages it may take number of parts as my video allows only 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes of time it is restricted time so i can make any video only of 10 minutes uh, it, so it will take number of parts please adjust uh, let me read the question here Concrete chimney of height 80 meter with the external diameter of the shaft being 4 meter at the top and 5 meter at the bottom is required in a place where the wind intensity is 1.5 kN per meter square. Thickness of the fire brick lining is 10 cm. Temperature difference between the inside and outside of the shaft is 75 degrees centigrade. Permissible bearing pressure on soil at the site is 150 kN per meter square. This is what they have given us. Uh, now adopt M25 grade of concrete mix, FG 415 grade of steel and design the following. This is what they are asking us to design. Base section of the chimney and foundation of the chimney. So let us see that. In the solution, so first I have written what they have given us. Uh, this is H, the uh, height of the chimney, 80 meter, diameter at the top, outer diameter at the top, 4 meter, inner diameter, uh, sorry, outer diameter at the bottom, 5 meter, P is the pressure intensity 1.5 kN per meter square. TF is the thickness of the fire brick lining that is 100 mm. Here again uh, capital T is a 75 degrees centigrade that is the temperature. SBC is the soil bearing capacity that is 150 kN per meter square. FCK is 20 newton per mm square. FI is 415 newton per mm square. So in step 1 we have to write the permissible stresses. So, sigma CBC is equal to 8.5 Newton per mm square. Sigma ST is 230 Newton per mm. These are mistakenly striken off, uh, but these are the correct values. 230 Newton per mm square. M is a 280 by 3 sigma CBC. This is the modular ratio. All these values are taken from IS456 according to the grade of steel and concrete. Uh, so m value we got it as 11 and design constant some more we have q like q which is half of j into k into sigma cbc we call it the value uh, value as 0 0.87 so again the j value is given as this k value is given as this m value is already known so from bo uh, bottom to top we can find out all the values so after calculating we got these values so let us see the step two that is a we have to draw the diagram and give the dimensions. So initial dimensions we have to give. These are not only initial, these are fixed actually. See here. This is actually the chimney. The chimney elevation. So outer diameter at the bottom is 5 meter. Inner diameter, uh, outer diameter at the top is 4 meter. These two are given in the question. So here the inner diameters are assumed according to the thickness of the uh, chimney. Here thickness of the chimney is also assumed. So here T1 is a bottom one that is 400 mm we are taking. Top uh, thickness is 200 mm we are assuming. See here. D1. So already given. Gt2 is already given. Cap small d1 is the inner diameter that is 5 minus 200 minus 200. So that is 4.2 meter. Here also 4 minus 0.2 plus minus 0.2 that is 3.6 meter so the radius is given by d1 minus t1 by 2 this is the radius of the base this is the plan of the base base section see here this is the radius this is the radius it is given by the total uh, diameter there is a total diameter minus thickness divided by 2 that is a minus thickness because half the thickness here half the thickness here so one thickness d minus one thickness by 2 gives the radius 5000 minus 4200 by 2 that is 2300 mm we call it as uh, tc is a average thickness of the chimney that is thickness of the top thickness of the bottom by 2 uh, t1 plus t2 by 2 that is 300 mm we, uh, 300 mm we got which is the height of the chimney 80 meter as given in the problem so that is about the dimensions of the chimney here i said while uh, talking about the guidelines neutral axis will be near to the place where uh, the wind pressure is acting see here next step three is about load calculation first one is we have to find out the weight of the chimney self weight of the chimney that is given by gamma c multiplied by the volume this is the volume pi d1 is the perimeter multiplied by thickness and height so that gives the volume so we will get 
so all the values we have sigma gamma c is 24 kilonewton per meter cube here d1 is 4.2 meter tc is this 300 m and h is 80 meter so substitute all the values in this formula so we'll get 7600 kilonewton weight of the fire brick lining gamma b into pi into d1 plus d2 by 2 into tf into h here we have all the values gamma b it is as you the fire brick lining actually it is having the unit weight as 20 kilonewton per meter cube it is around 20 kilonewton per meter cube so we are taking it as 20 kilonewton per meter cube remaining all the values we have all the values tf is nothing but fire brick lining and all the values we have we can now easily substitute so tf is uh, 0.1 meter as given in the question that is 100 mm they have given us so that means that is 0.1 meter substitute all the values in the expression so now we will get this after substituting this is the expression so after that we will get 1920 kilonewton that is the weight of the fire brick lining sorry yes weight of the fire brick lining now total the dead total dead load will be the weight of the chimney first one the weight of the chimney plus weight of the fire brick lining first and second one so we'll get nine uh, 7600 plus 1920 that is 9520 kilonewton so after that we have to calculate the total wind load above the base that is given by the formula p is equal to k into p into a k is a shear factor from the table it is actually 0 0.7 from this, if it is a circular section so p is 1.5 kilonewton per meter square a is uh, found to be d1 plus d2 by 2 into h that is a it is considered to be a trapezoid so this is considered to be a trapezoid if it is a it is b it is a plus b by 2 into h so area of the trapezoid just which is exposed to the wind the area which is exposed to the wind see that is d1 plus d2 by 2 into h so after substituting all the values we will get this so p is here uh, k, k value is 0 0.7 1.5 is a uh, wind, wind pressure they have given us 360 is a area we got so we can find out the uh, wind load p is equal to 375 kilonewton step 4 is about moment calculation bending moment above the base due to the wind load it is given by load into perpendicular distance so this p is uh, assumed to be acting at the center that is p into h by 2 that is 375 we got it as 80 by 2 that is 15000 kilonewton meter we got eccentricity now we have to find out that is e is equal to moment by total weight moment is uh, 15000 kilonewton meter and here weight is total weight we have uh, total dead weight we have calculated it as 9520 so add this so find out the eccentricity now 1.575 meter step 5 is about reinforcement now provide the reinforcement of 1% cross sectional area ast is a 1% of uh, this is the area pi dm into tc plus tf this is actually the thickness of the chimney plus thickness of the fire brick lining so we have to take the cross section in this way so after uh, we have the values here dm is d uh, d1 plus d1 by 2 this is the base average diameter that is 4200 plus 5000 by 2 we call it as 4600 tc is the thickness of the chimney 300 mm tf is the thickness of fire brick lining that is 100 mm I'll substitute all the values in this so we will get this ast is 557805 mm square according to this uh, we have to find out the uh, we have to decide the diameter of the bar we have to use number of bars can be find out by using this formula so we uh, have to provide 25 mm dia bars vertical reinforcement uh, totally this is 117 so we have to provide let us take the nearest value round figure value 120 bars vertically so we can find out that so after that analysis of stresses at the base section so from step 6 let us see in the next part